Okay, we're going to look at the 2014 November paper. And to start off with, again, we need to make our evidence document and our evidence folder. Um, and then we need to go to this website. To save a bit of time, I've already gone to the website, so I've made my folder, I've downloaded my work, and I've unzipped my work. Okay, now the first question is about... Um, spreadsheet. Well, I'm going to skip over that for the time being. I'll come back to that in another video. So I want to get down to question 27 which is about star sheet. So this time when I read the blurb, okay, so it's just um, a website we need to make and all our colour codes need to be in hexadecimal. So the first thing we need to do is create a suitable uh, a star sheet in a suitable package. So I'm going to use expressions for and I want to make a new okay, CSS which is the cascading star sheet. Okay, you can see it's brought up here, dot .css, and it's untitled at the moment. I'm going to get rid of the HTML document. Okay, so, now in here, I need to set the star sheets at each table. Okay, so, we're going to be doing a table tag, so I'm going to click on New Style and I'm then going to find the actual table tag now here are all the categories for the um, the table and this is that it wants to be a yellow background color so background color and I'm going to choose yellow okay you see here it's automatically being put into hexadecimal for me Okay, the next thing is that I want the width to be 80% of the window. So no matter how big my web page is, the table will always be 80%. So I'll find this in position, and in here I've got width, and I want it to be a value. So I want it to be a percentage, and 80%. And now you can see down the bottom that we're starting to build up the actual uh, document. And I want to have navy blue solid borders. So my border, my border style, that's so going to be solid. Okay, the border width is going to be a value, and it's going to be 4 and pixels. So you have points and you have pixels, it's going to be 4 pixels, and the colour. Okay, it just says it wants it to be a navy blue, so I'm just going to choose a dark blue for that, maybe a bit darker. Okay, and now the the next part, okay, uh, it's going to be the borders need to be collapsed. If I go down to the table section, you see you've got border collapse, and we want that to be collapsed. Okay, now we need the cell padding, okay, to the top to be 10 pixels, the cell padding to the left one to be um, 20 pixels, and the text center aligned in all the cells. So, okay, so, I need to find the, the padding, so here you have the padding, it's the same for all, okay, but I don't want to say if I want the top and the bottom, so on to so I want the top to be 10 pixels and I want the bottom to be 10 pixels but I want the left and the right to be 20 pixels and then my text alignment is going to be centre Okay, now, that seems fine, except for the fact that I have internal grid lines of 2 pixels, and there was no internal grid lines in that 
table and that's because the internal grid lines are part of the cells and the cells are actually in a style called TD so I'm not going to do too much here except I'm going to change the border to be solid to be the value of two pixels and to choose the same okay as it happens I didn't use exactly the same so I'm going to change this one Add your name, center their number, and coordinator. Okay, as a comment. Well, the way that we add comments is to do a forward slash star, star, sorry, and then star forward slash. So this comment, okay, means that the computer won't try to run this, and so it's just there for you as the programmer to well, to make a note for yourself. Okay, then we would have a look at that so we need to save this and okay make sure we do save it as an actual CSS file Now we're going to open up N14TC. Okay, and here you can see. So hopefully now, when I apply my star sheet, Okay, you can see here now that uh, the star's following the star that we wanted. Okay. Place your name number. Okay, use the image placed in the left of the column to create a hyperlink to a new a new web page called Road Bike. And it's going to be called a uh, new window is going to be called underscore road. Just double check I've got the right picture there. Okay, so my white mouse button hyperlink. So it's not an existing page, it's not an email, it's not a place in this document, a bookmark, or what the example will call an anchor, but it's a new document called uh, roadbike.htm. And the target frame, this is whether I want it to open up in the same window, or a new window, or a new tab. I want it to underscore. And we want it to be called underscore road. So we just change that. And we click on OK. See, it's made the new road bike dot. Split my code. I can now see that here's my reference, my road bike dot uh, HTM. That's the website it's going to go to, and it's going to open up a new window because it's got underscore road there. Okay, so we'll have a look at the next. So now we're going to create a hyperlink on the click here, so it sends an email message to this email address. So we just highlight the click here. We again do the hyperlink, but this time it's not a new document, it's actually an email address. So we put the email address in. The subject is going to be website offers. Click on OK, and again, if I now look at the code for this, here we can see that it's a mail to a reference for the email account, and the subject equals website offers. So now on the text hothouse design we need to go to this actual email address and we can see it's in a new uh, a new window called house so 
Hyperlite has design. We do our hyperlink, but this time no, it's not a, it's not an, an email account. It's not a new document. It's not a place in this document. It is an existing. It doesn't exist for us. It actually exists on the internet. So we type in the internet account or the internet address. We click on the target frame, new window, and underscore hot house. And we now need to save our HTML document as a different name. So, just so you can see it, file, save as. Now, display the web page in your browser. So, okay. So, file, preview in browser, I'm going to preview in Chrome. I'll take a screenshot of that. And to print off the code, I go into code, file, let me print preview, there's my code. If I need to put my name into it, I would just go to the page setup and write my name into the header or the footer. Using a super so we're going to open up N14 road bike now. So. So attach the star sheet again, so attach the star sheet spot. Set all the text oh sorry okay, attach the star sheet, cap my place your candidate numbers. Set the text in the right cell to be an unordered list. So got this and we need to make a list an unordered list and if we split our code we can see in here that it's unordered UL then the actual individual list items and then an unordered list We save this as road bike. Oh, sorry, no. Set all the text in the bottom cell except to be an ordered list. So, okay. So we just select the ones we want. But this time, I'm going to use an ordered list. And you can see here you've got O L, and the list this time is an ordered list from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we just need now to save that as road bike htm and then print a copy of our html markup by that if it's html we're really referring to the code here and after the exam once we've saved it and printed it we just need to go through and find with a highlighted pen or a pencil it'll be fine these particular items that the exam board are looking for